I recently got a hold of some second gen AirPods, and upon trying them out, I noticed two things. One, that AirPods really do sync well with iPhones, and two, that these headphones just aren't as good as the JBL earbuds that I daily. Wait, what? My JBL earbuds can be found for as low as $40 on sale, while at minimum, these AirPods cost $80, and that's on sale. So how is this possible? Well, that's what we're gonna take a look at in this video. Are the JBL 230s better than the second gen AirPods? And if so, do the JBL earbuds smash the more expensive AirPods Pros? Let's take a look. That is my intro. We're using that audio. Okay, before you guys go start typing your hate comments up, because I'm insulted in a purchase that you or a friend may have made, hear me out. There are some great things about the AirPods and we're gonna get into that in this video. Because in reality, this case isn't as black and white as I made it in the intro. There are some stark differences between the two pairs of earbuds that we have on trial today. Some are for the better and some are for the worse. Let's get into that. Let's first take a look at sound quality. One of the things that I like best about my JBL earbuds are the sound quality. Well, they certainly aren't the best in the world. I think they're great when the price of these earbuds is taken into consideration. My point is, the sound isn't flat. They have a decent amount of bass and are pretty clear sounding as well. The same of which can be said about the AirPods that we have on review here today. The AirPods sound pretty all right, but I think in the end, the JBL earbuds come out just a little bit better. There are a couple of reasons for this fact, but it really boils down to two things. One, the AirPods actually sound a little bit less clear, and I was able to find this out by putting one earbud from each pair um, just in my ears, and I noticed that the JBL sounded a little bit clearer. And two, when you take into consideration the noise cancellation that the JBL earbuds have, the JBL earbuds just end up sounding better. Let me explain. Well, that's another thing that we have to talk about. When you live in a noisy environment like I do, the noise cancellation that the JBL 230s offer is really a lifesaver. Even though it definitely isn't the best noise cancellation I've heard in headphones before, it's enough to take out the low humming of a vehicle or just the annoying sound of your two siblings arguing. So when I started using AirPods, which don't have noise cancellation, I was genuinely angry to see this vital feature missing. I mean, not only are the JBL 230s cheaper at full price than the JBLs on sale, but you can find even a little bit of noise cancellation in extremely cheap earbuds these days. Even a little bit of active noise cancellation would have gone such a long way in my ability to use these AirPods. So Apple, why didn't you include noise cancellation in these? Now sure, it could be that this product came out four years ago, and this would be a logical explanation if it weren't for the fact that the third gen Air AirPods, which came out the same month and year as my JBL 230s, also don't have active noise cancellation. And these AirPods are more expensive than the second generation. The third gen AirPods cost $80 more than the JBL 230s. That's almost double the price. So why is Apple leaving behind A and C on these AirPods? Well, there could be many reasons, but I think the biggest reason is probably to make the Pros seem more desirable. The AirPods Pros, which cost 250 US dollars, add back a lot of the features that I'm griping about the regular AirPods missing. I believe that Apple is trying to charge more for the premium features by leaving out these premium features for the cheaper regular AirPods. Now, we do need to address the elephant in the room. The software that Apple has made for these AirPods is just amazing. As someone who has never previously owned a set of AirPods, I do think the way that the AirPods sync with iPhones is really neat. And the extra features that this software adds to these AirPods is like nice little sprinkles on a cupcake. Now to be clear, as someone who has used the AirPods Pros and Pro Maxes, I do think those are a better value and they're actually some earbuds that I would consider getting. Again, while they may be a little overpriced, they add back all the features that I'm griping about missing on the regular AirPods. So what's the verdict? Well, until Apple adds back some of these features, like just a little bit of noise cancellation into these AirPods, I just don't think they're great value. And really, 
you should be looking at something like the JBL 230s or really any other pair of earbuds that has some of these features because in the end, they're gonna be a, a bit of a better value. Well, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, then make sure you smash that like button. And if you really liked it, then you should consider subscribing. If you want to help support us financially, then you can use the link in the description below to tip us. You can tip basically any amount, and you even get your name featured in videos for a whole month. And here are the people who have tipped us in the last month. And hey, if you want to see new content from us in the future, then make sure you hit that notification bell. But while you're waiting for new content to come out, why don't you go check out our AirPods Pros 2 review. It was a very interesting video to watch after this in terms of value comparison and such. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.